Welcome back. This is Nisha. I already uploaded one video for plus two commerce. First chapter, the review of C++. And this is the continuation of that video. Clear? So here we are going to study about operators in detail. Arithmetical operators. Arithmetical operators means the mathematical operation. Okay. So what all operators are using in C++ for the arithmetic? So plus for addition, minus sign for subtraction, and asterisk sign for multiplication, and slash for division, and modulus operator. That percentage sign shows modulus operator. This is modulus operator. Okay, for getting the reminder. So I put some examples here. 10 plus 2. So we will get the answer as 12. Is it? Then 10 minus 2. We already know that. We will get the answer as 8. Then next, 10 multiplied by 2. We will get 20. 10 divided by 2. We will get 5 answer. But this is the new one. Is it? Yeah. How to get the reminder? Reminder means 10 divided by 2 and find out the reminder. What is the reminder there? The quotient is 5. The reminder is 0. See? So now we got 0 answer. So one more example I put for the modulus. Finding the modulus. 10 mode operator used 3. 10 mode 3. What is the answer? 3 3s are 9. So the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. Understood now? So these are arithmetical operators using in C++. So plus for addition, minus for subtraction and asterisk sign for multiplication, then slash for division and the modulus operator. Percentage sign is using for modulus operator. Clear now? Yeah. Only in C++, one additional operator is there, that is percentage sign. We can call it as modulus operator. Okay. Relational operators. Relational operator. We already discussed in the last class. Relational means comparison. So we can compare the two numbers. So what are the operators using for comparison? So greater than sign for greater than sign is here for checking is it greater than or not. Less than this is less than sign greater than or equal to greater than or equal to see the sign in maths you will write greater than sign and the down part you will put slash is it but here equal to is separate. So greater than sign or equal to. Then here, less than or equal to. This is, these are the simple using for less than or equal to. Then is it equal to comparison? Is it equal to? Is it equal to means? We are checking this value is equal to this or not. So for equal to comparison, we will use double equal to in C++. And not equal to, not for not shows exclamation mark not equal to. So these are the relational operators. So how we can use this? Just see the example. 10 greater than 2. Here checking. 10 greater than 2. Is that value 10 is greater than 2 or not? It is true. Is it? So we will get the answer true. 10 less than 2. If you are checking 10 less than 2, what the system will give you? It is false. The answer is false. So this is the way of comparison with greater than and less than. And the next is greater than equal to 2. 10 greater than equal to 2. Greater than or equal to. So it is already greater than. So it is true. 10 less than or equal to. It is false. Is it? 10 is not less than 2. So it is false. 10 is equal to equal to 2. Is it true? 10 is not equal to 2. So we will get a false answer. 10 not equal to 3. 
then not equal to 3. It is not equal to 3. So, we will get true answer. So, this is the way of comparison. These are the relational operators using for comparing. Okay, with two numbers. Understood now? So, this, these are the relational operators in C++. This one is logical operators. Why logical operators are using? For comparing two or more conditions. Okay, for combining two or more conditions. You already heard this word and or not. In English statements we will write. Is it? In English sentence we will use and or not. Same like here also and or not. And for combining two conditions. And if both conditions are true, you will get the true answer. Or means if any one of the condition is true, we will get the true answer. And not shows what? Not this. Okay, not this condition is true. Then only we will get the answer as true. So, which are simples are using for this? For the logical AND operator, we will use two ampersand signs. Two AND signs. Okay. Then the next is OR operator. Two pipe simple. Pipe. Just above the enter key, you can see that on the keyboard. Pipe. We call it as pipe sign. And for NOT, one exclamation mark. So, these are the logical operators. Now, just check the examples here. 10 greater than 2 and... 10 greater than 6. See, both conditions are true. 10 is greater than 2 and 10 is greater than 6. If both conditions are true, we will get the answer as true. Clear? Now, next one is 10 greater than equal to 2 or 10 less than equal to 6. 10 is not less than 6, but the first condition is true. So, it is combined with OR operator. That means any one of the conditions must be true. Yeah, the first one is true. So, we will get the answer as true. Okay. Now, the next one. Not 10 equal to equal to 2. 10 is not equal to 2. So, we will get the answer as true. Understood? Not 10 equal to equal to 2. 10 equal to equal to 2. Yeah, 10 is not equal to 2. So, it is not. So, we will get the answer as true. Clear now? See, for the not, we used only one operand, one expression. Is it? So, we can call this not operator as a unary operator. But and or are binary operators. The first part we studied, unary operator, binary operators, ternary operators. Is it? So, or and and are binary operators because two operands are needed but not as a unary operator only one operand is needed clear okay. some more operators are there to study but later we can study before that we want to know what is data type and all okay so what is data type here see the first point to identify the type of data and associated operations handling this data. What is the meaning? Data types means what value we are going to store in the computer. Is it an integer or is it a character or is it a float value? So, these are data types. Clear? We want to identify what value we are going to store in the computer for an operation. So, that is the first sentence. Then the second one is, data types are classified into fundamental data types. See, fundamental data types, derived data types and user-defined data types. Three data types groups are there. Fundamental, derived and user-defined data types. Okay. So, we learned in last year fundamental data types. In the next chapter onwards, you will going to learn about derived and user-defined ones. Okay, now we can revise what is what are fundamental one. So, what are the fundamental data types? Int. In Gini, for integer, 4 bytes. Is it? 4 bytes. Then, for character, 1 byte we'll get in the memory. Then, for float, 4 bytes again we'll get. 
and for double this is the double of that float value so we'll get 8 bytes then void shows 0 bytes so these are the data types we are using these are fundamental one predefined ones okay clear it's already defined in the C++ compiler so int 4 bytes int means only integer values means numbers we can store in it without fractional part okay then we will get 4 bytes for one number then character only one byte we will get it's a single letter okay one letter we can assign in it then if it's a float value we will get 4 bytes same like but we can use same like integer but here in if we are using float means we can use fractional numbers also decimal parts also we can use it then double means we want to uh, uh, store a large number more than the range of float we can use which data type double data type so we will get 8 bytes spaces in the memory for a number clear then void means 0 bytes the void usage and all we will study later okay so these are the fundamental data types using in C++ okay now see type modifiers type modifier type means data types data types modifiers so we can make some modifications for the predefined data types so what are the modifiers the type modifiers are used to modify the size of the memory space and range of data size of the memory space means in the latest uh, slide you show the 4 bytes 2 bytes 1 bytes is it so here we can change modify the size of the memory space according to the modifier then same like the range also the range of data we can change by using the modifiers so what are the modifiers using for this long short signed and unsigned so these are the modifiers four modifiers are there what are the modifiers long short signed and unsigned so here i put example in a box see it's only for integer okay just see this int is for storing integer numbers and its capacity is 4 bytes and see the range negative this much number to this much number we can store this is the range of integer clear so int if you are using int as the data type we can assign integer numbers and we will get the memory space 4 bytes and the range of values how much see negative this number to positive this so this much values we can use for an integer data type clear then signed int signed what is signed here it's a modifier signed see signed integer values may be negative positive negative positive or zero that is called signed so by default if you are using int means it is signed int so we can use negative values positive values and zeros so four bytes and the range is same style of int means int and signed int both are same okay see the next one unsigned int unsigned unsigned means only positive numbers we can store in it we can't use negative that is unsigned int see unsigned integer values are always positive always positive or zero never negatives okay never negatives that is unsigned int so that is one modifier so same like four bytes space we will get but see the range now zero to this much number there is no negative part okay so we can't store negative part negative numbers there so from zero onwards four bytes capacity you can use so double the range of signed to unsigned we will get it the positive numbers clear okay now short short means short integer small numbers we can store small range of numbers we can store see the range and the bytes only two bytes capacity is needed for a short and the range is 32768 to 32767 
minus 2 positive this much range is there so if you want to assign a 50,000 value means it is not possible through short we want to use uh, int or unsigned int okay we want to store a negative 50,000 means short can't possible so we can use int or signed int if you want to store a negative value we need to use signed int clear now so these are the modifiers long short signed and unsigned so if you are here long and integer is the same capacity no change in it so these are the modifiers we are using for c++ okay for the integer and for character and for float also there are same modifiers we can use it clear now okay so type modifiers means we can modify the size of the memory space and the range of data clear expressions expressions are constituted by operators and operands to perform an operation okay what is the meaning which statement we can call expression if there is any operations with one operator and two operands or two operator with operands so these are called expressions so how many expressions are using in c++ there are three operations what all arithmetic expressions relational expressions and logical expressions arithmetic expressions relational expressions logical expression arithmetic expressions are using by arithmetical operators relation by relational operators and logical are by using logical operators so these are called expressions now see what is arithmetic expression so again i divided into two part integer expression and floating point expression from the word itself we already got what is integer expression is it all operands in the expressions are integers an integer expression yields an integer result understood integer expression means whatever operations you are doing in an arithmetic part both operands are integers and the result also what an integer so these type of expressions are known as integer expressions now floating point expression floating means decimal value if all operands in the expressions are floating points a floating point expression yields a floating point result that what is the meaning using operations with floating points decimal values and the result also a floating result so that type of expressions are what floating point expressions so these are arithmetic expressions okay 10 plus 2 we will get 12 answer so it's an arithmetic expression and that also an integer expression 10.5 plus 11.5 so that is decimal value adding so it's a floating point expression clear so these are arithmetic expressions then what is relational expression relational expression consists of relational operators they are also called conditions that also we already know condition by using greater than sign less than sign equal to sign not equal to sign is it we will get the answer true or false that is relational expression so whichever operations we are doing with the relational operators that expressions are relational expressions okay then logical expression logical expression is an expression whose values either true or false for example x greater than y is a logical expression since it, it can be either true or false same like relational operator but in logical we can combine with logical operators and or not also we can use it clear so these are logical expressions so three types of expressions are there arithmetic expression relational expression and logical expression arithmetic expressions are using with arithmetical operators 
relational with relational operators and logical expression with logical expressions by getting true or false answer. Clear? Type conversion. Type conversion means converting one data type to another data type. That is called type conversion. Converting, converting from one to another. So type conversion means data type from one data type to another data type conversion. That is type conversion. Okay. So there are two methods of type conversion. One is implicit type conversion and the other one is explicit type conversion. What is the difference in implicit and explicit? Implicit way of conversion means automatically the system will convert. Explicit way means the programmer want to specify in which to which we want to convert. It. That is the difference. And in implicit conversion, one more word is there. What is that? Type promotion. Type promotion means one data type to the next higher level. It will automatically promote it. That is type promotion. So see the example in that box. Int x is equal to 10. Character y is equal to a. Then x is equal to x plus y. How it is possible? Y is a letter. Is it 10? That is in x. Then how we can add 10 and a together? Is it possible? Normally it is not possible. But in C++ it is possible. How? Yeah. Whatever, what all keys are there in the keyboard, there is an ASCII code for each keys. ASCII code. Okay, it is called ASCII code. For every letter there is a code. The computer knows that code. So for the capital letter A, the code is 65. Then capital letter B, the code is 66. So like that we will get till Z. Then for small letter A, we will get 97 as ASCII code. And small letter B, 98 and so on. Okay, so here X is equal to X plus Y means Y is adding with an integer. So automatically the code will get. So for the small letter, 97 is the code. 97 plus 10 you will get here. 97 plus 10. 97 plus 10 is 107. Clear now? This is implicit way of conversion. Automatically the system converted. Now what is explicit type conversion? That is the programmer want to specify the data type for conversion. So that is called typecasting. Okay, typecasting. Now see the example, int a is equal to int in bracket, this is the way of conversion, see explicit way, whichever data type we want to convert it, that we want to put it in the bracket. So 10.5 is the value, it is not an integer, it is a float value, is it? Only the integer part I want to store it in a, so I can write in an explicit way, in bracket int, so that means 10.5, that 0.5 is a floating number. So just avoid that 0.5 and that 10 will assign to A. Now the value of A is what? 10. So this is the way of explicit conversion. Clear? So whichever data type you may need, just we can, we can put it in the brackets parenthesis. Okay, just before that expression of value. So, this is explicit type conversion. Clear? Okay, I hope you all are clear now. Now, we can wind up the session. Thank you. Take care.